morning, family. Good morning. Coming to you with a prayer this morning for anxiety. Mm. Mm. From Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God which passes, passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask for a blessing this morning, Lord. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Lord. So we thank you for God. all you've done, Lord. It's been good. We ask that you comfort us all, Lord, during this terrible time of 2020 that we are going through, Lord. Yeah. Many of us are anxious. Yes. We have anxiety. We have yes. fear. We have sadness. We have financial issues, it's Lord. There. Yeah. And we know that if we keep our minds and hearts on God, there, there we will is. prevail this, Lord. All right. We ask for a blessing, Lord, and yes. we thank you in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. And just continuing with that, Lord, there's so many there's so much hurt and pain out here, good Lord, and injustice seems that's going on, good Lord, in our government, good Lord, and with the uh, police and with the sicknesses that's going on, the pestilence, Heavenly Father, and Lord, we just want to ask that you would help us, good Lord, with this. We're praying for endurance, good Lord, right now at this particular time, that you would help to mend and help the, 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 the brokenhearted, good Lord, but those, Heavenly Father, that has lost family members, good Lord, due to these crisis and circumstances heavenly father we just pray good lord for your peace which passes all understanding yes. to guard each heart to protect heavenly father to help good lord and it was that job spirit good lord for we know that you make sore and but you bind it up lord your, your hands heavenly father is what's needed heavenly father and so we just ask him that you would just keep us under thy wing where it is safe good lord and so we just come to you asking good lord for worldwide help and healing and strength good lord in jesus name amen good day family my name is reverend nelson db i'll be praying on anxiety let us pray Habba father our trustworthy and faithful god we come this day, O oh great God in heaven, to honor you and to praise you for you are a great God There is none like you. My Father, my God, we bring our anxiety to you, mighty God. Father, that you will help us to overcome them. Your word says, O oh great God in heaven, in the book of Psalm, that because we acknowledge you as our Lord and Savior, you said you will protect us, mighty God. You said you will provide every one of our needs. You promised, O oh great God in heaven, that you will deliver us, O oh great God. Yet your word reminded me in Isaiah 55, mighty God in heaven, that none of your promise in our life, O oh great God in heaven, will come back to your void. Father, we are trusting in you. Whatever, O oh great God in heaven, that is in the life of your people, O oh great God, that is creating anxiety, mighty God, I pray. Pray this day in the name of Jesus that you will help us to overcome them in the name of Jesus. With you there is power. With you there is provisions. With you everything shall come to take place in our life. Papa, we are trusting in you, great God. Papa, cast away every anxiety in us. Grant us that spirit, the spirit of trusting, O Lord my God that you will take care of us. Bless your people this day, mighty God. For each one of us need you, mighty God. Papa, take control of our home. Hold us in your hand, O great God, and lead us along the way. With you, O great God in heaven, I know we will be victorious. I just thank you, mighty God, for what you do in each one of our lives. I glorify your name for your blessing that is about to take place. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I will be speaking on anxiety today. As I was reading my daily bread this morning, this was part of my reading, and I thought it was really fitting for the scripture that I'm going to be reading, which is from Luke 12, 22 to 31. Jesus, help me to see the opportunities and step through the doors you open to speak boldly and ab clearly about you. So I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to read this scripture to my brothers and sisters today. Then he said to his disciples, 
Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you then are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not a rape like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Deacon Kenneth Brister, and I will be saying a prayer tonight on anxiety. In the book of Joshua 1 and 9, it reads, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In these crazy times that we're living in right now with pandemic and the state of uh, uh, unrest in our nation and in the world, it is uh, some, um, some really strange times that we're going to. But we know that if we trust and believe in that true North, our Father, who, and not move to the left or to the right, then we will um, have uh, victory. So I want to pray tonight for anxiety. Let us bow our heads. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you so much for all that you do for us. We ask you, Father God, for first of all, foremost, to forgive us of our sins, Father God, and to help us to be more like you, Lord. Father God, again, as we go through these times of unrest and instability, we know and we trust and we believe in you, Father God. We know that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, there will be stress in our lives. It's a human emotion. But Lord, we trust and believe in you and only you to get us through each and every day, minute, hour of our lives, Father God. Lord, we know that there will be death. We lost a loved one in our family just this week. And Father God, we know that there will be uh, uh, unrest in our nation and we know that there will be just uh, stress in our lives father god but lord we know and we do believe in you father god so with that father god we trust in your word we trust in your son jesus christ we trust in your holy spirit to lead and guide and direct us father god we know that life goes on even in crazy state unstable times so that we have the victory, Father God. And so we have to claim it, Lord. And Lord, let not anxiety take over us because it can can uh, affect our health and affect our emotions in ways that uh, are, are, are not good for us, Father God. So Lord, we lift up our voices and we lift up our eyes to the hills which cometh our help, Father God. So we know that our help comes from you. So let us not be anxious, Father. Let us trust and believe in you and only you, Father God. We thank you so much for our leadership at our church, our pastor, our senior pastor, and all of the associate members, Father God, who continue to bring us the word even through these trying times. We lift them up right now, Lord Jesus. We lift up all of our church members and family members who we may not see every Sunday, Lord, but we pray for them and we lift them up before you. And we just pray that we're checking on each and other, praying for one another, and keeping us in our thoughts, Father God. So Lord, we just thank you so much. We lift up Family Community Church and all the churches in Fresno 
and around this city and around this state and around this great nation, as well as around the globe, Father God, that to be anxious for nothing, but always trusting and believing in you, Lord. We thank you so much for your word and your son, Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that we just, uh, just lean on him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.